This card actually expires in two weeks. So if I don't get my APRC, I have to leave Taiwan in 13 days. Well, everyone, I finally got possibly one of the most important pieces of plastic in all of Taiwan for a foreigner. This is my new alien permanent residence card. Now, the journey to getting this all important card has taken more than five years. And this is a very significant day for me and it means a lot to my life in Taiwan. So in this video, I wanna talk about how I went about getting this card, what are the advantages of having your APRC, and most importantly, how do I keep it? So it actually occurred to me that potentially most Taiwanese people might not even know what foreigners have to go through to actually live here and enjoy their lives in Taiwan. So I want to take this opportunity and we can learn together because I certainly had to jump through a few hoops and learn so much information just in order to stay here and live and work in Taiwan. So let's get this video started. So when foreigners first come to Taiwan, they will get a job and through that job, they will get a sponsored ARC. So if you are an ARC holder, an alien residence card holder, the foreigners are only able to work for that specific company in that specific industry. So that was my life for the last five years. The dream of getting this APRC, this elusive card that I might get sometime in a five year future, it always seemed like this kind of pipe dream, something that I thought about but might never actually happen. There were so many obstacles that I had to overcome in order to get this all important APRC. But before we get into the details, I have to tell you that I am so relieved. I didn't realize how relieved I would feel to get this card. These are just feelings that I didn't know I would even feel. But as soon as I was standing there in front of the foreign affairs office in Kaohsiung holding my new APRC card, I just felt this overwhelming sense of joy. Really special. So let's talk about the process. First of all, in order to be eligible for your APRC, the foreigner must live in Taiwan for five years. And in those five years, you must have never left Taiwan for more than 183 days per year. That's a lot of time. Next up, you have to be employed for the entire time. So if at any point you lose your job or you quit your job and just spend your time traveling around Taiwan without working, this could make you ineligible for you getting your APRC. I was lucky enough to be working at a very good English school here in Kaohsiung and then through a company where I do all my YouTube videos that eventually my work time accumulated and I never actually went back home for more than six months at a time. So thankfully I passed this requirement. Next up are all the documents and checks that you need to get your APRC. I had to get a police check, a health check, I had to make sure all my papers were in order. I had to go get my tax statements, bank statements. These things actually end up taking a lot of time and you have to go from one place to another. Photocopies, passports, pictures, passport photos. It really was a bit of an ordeal, but I can say that at the end of the day, all of the work that I put into this was absolutely worth it. So now once you've done your time, you've got all of your documents in order, the last step is to fork over 10,000 NT. That's about $500 Canadian. It's not a small price, but actually when I think about it, to get your permanent residency here in Taiwan, $500, it could be worse. And now with everything submitted, everything paid for, all I had to do was wait. And actually this was a bit excruciating for me because my ARC expired at the end of July, July 31st. Now, by the time I had everything in order at the Foreign Affairs Office, it was close to the end of June. And they were kind of looking at my application thinking, I'm not sure that you have enough time before your ARC expires. But thankfully, I eventually got that phone call. Hello, Mr. Davies. 
your APRC application, it's been approved. Let's just jump back in time to last week when I actually went to the APRC Foreign Affairs office to go pick up my card. All right, time to get the APRC. This card actually expires in two weeks. So if I don't get my APRC, I have to leave Taiwan in 13 days. So let's hope everything works out. Okay, we did it successfully and I got my APRC. That is very exciting. So that basically means I'm kind of almost Taiwanese now. After five years, I can't believe it's been that long. Everything went well, never ending documents, of course, in Taiwan. But uh, yeah, the proof is in the pudding. Awesome. And so here we have it. I am standing here at one of my favorite temples in all of Kaohsiung, maybe even all of Taiwan. It's just unbelievable for me to stand here holding my APRC, my permanent residence card in this country that I love so much. Just to be standing here with this physical representation of my love for Taiwan, it's, it's making me a little bit emotional actually. Uh, every time I look at this, I, I can't believe it's real. So now let's talk about the benefits of owning an APRC or being a permanent resident of Taiwan as a foreigner. Why do I need this card? Well, actually, the benefits are numerous. First of all, it means that my stay here in Taiwan is not dependent on working a job here or working for a specific company. So for five years, I always had to have a Taiwanese company basically sponsoring my life here. So for a couple of years, it was my English school. For a couple of years after that, it was my YouTube company. But I always had to depend on other people, other companies, just in order to stay here and live in Taiwan. Overall, everything just becomes that much easier instead of this kind of temporary worker in Taiwan. Well, now I'm permanent. So to finish up the video, we've talked about how to be eligible for your APRC and what advantages the APRC gives foreigners. Now let's talk about how to keep your APRC because that is arguably one of the most important parts. What's the point of losing your APRC within the first six months and that is possible. So now that I have my APRC, there's a couple things I need to be careful about. So the biggest one is I still need to stay in Taiwan for 183 days per year. In the past, if you left Taiwan for more than 183 days per calendar year, you would automatically lose your APRC but now they've relaxed those rules a little bit and this is important to know. So over the next five years, you just have to be in Taiwan for an average of 183 days per year. At the time of filming, nobody quite knows what that means because they just introduced this amendment, I think one or two months ago. But if I figure that out, I will let you know in a future video. But as far as I can tell, as long as I'm roughly in Taiwan for about six months a year, I'm gonna be fine. And I probably don't need to say this, but obviously, if you want to retain your APRC, you can't commit any major crimes. That is so noisy. That is so noisy. Wow, the garbage truck finally left. That took about 15 minutes. But luckily in the meantime, I remembered something else I wanted to talk to you about. Does having an APRC in Taiwan enable me to become a Taiwanese citizen, hold a Taiwanese passport? The answer is no. All of those rights are reserved for people who are Taiwanese. I'm still Canadian, I'm not Taiwanese. If I want to be able to vote in Taiwan, get a Taiwanese passport and essentially become Taiwanese, I would actually have to give up my Canadian passport because Taiwan does not allow for dual citizenship. To be honest, I'm quite happy with my Canadian passport. I do not want to give that up, even though I think the Taiwan passport is quite good. But you know what? At least this is kind of the happy middle ground between ARC holders, which is just straight up work related, and Taiwanese citizens, which essentially you probably almost have to be born here to get that. I am right in between. To me, this is a great step forward, and I am so grateful for the Taiwanese government and for just Taiwan for allowing me this opportunity 
to kind of be able to experience more of what it's like to be actually a Taiwanese long stay permanent resident, if that makes sense. Okay, well, everybody, I hope that answers some of your questions. If you're a foreigner or even if you're a Taiwanese, you want to learn more about what it's like to live as a foreigner here in Taiwan, the steps that we have to go through, the hurdles we have to jump over. But as for me, I feel so happy and relieved and satisfied. And honestly, just like a huge weight has come off my shoulders because I no longer have to rely on anybody else to live and work here in Taiwan. This is me, this is me. I can stay here as long as I want. I'm basically a Taiwanese now. That's pretty amazing. So if you've made it this far in the video, thank you so much. I appreciate that more than you could ever know. So if you're here, if you're still watching, just give that like button a big hit and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Every single person helps. And to be honest, I couldn't even be here doing this, getting my APRC without all of your support. So thank you so much, honestly, from the bottom of my heart. And I'm just really looking forward to this new phase of my life. Thank you so much, everybody. Please follow me on my journey here, living in Taiwan, now as a permanent resident. Make sure to check out my video next week, and I will see you in the next one. Take care, everybody.